Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So guys, today is Saturday, July 2nd, and I figure, you know what, uh, because tomorrow I'm not gonna be having a live stream because I'm, I'm going away someplace. Anyway, so I felt like just making a video, like a good old fashioned video, guys. Uh, so different kind of uh, topics. So today, guys, on my last video, you saw I was reviewing these beautiful things from Candle Science. These are called uh, the Mini Infinity Tins, okay? Let me just read to you a little bit of information, guys. These are great for uh, any kind of event, guys. I, I, the reason why I'm, I'm doing this video, guys, is because I uh, have someone asked me uh, to make them a couple of hundred candles, uh, but they told me to make them small. So when I saw this on the Candle Science website, I decided, you know what, this is going to be the, the size of candles that these people are going to want, okay? So I want to come to them and I, wanna, uh, I just want to try different... Uh, Scent options, fragrance oils, combinations to show them to see which one they like the best. Okay, so uh, let me tell you. Okay, the wax weight, the wax weight to, to the field line is 3.4 ounces. Excellent, and I like this because it has these raised uh, legs in here. So this is great to protect the surface when the uh, the candle is burning, and also they come with these beautiful uh, tops, leaves. You know that shot perfectly. You know, and I think they're very. They're very high in looking, they're very well made, there are no steams inside, and they also have a, a special uh, varnish coating to prevent discoloration, okay? So, yes, yeah, this is very good for presents, guys. Also, when you, uh, if you're going to give this away to people, you know, on, on a company, you know, and just, I think it's, I think it's a great option that you can offer uh, for your candle lights, okay? So today, we're going to have fun playing with scents, and I have... My trusty fragrance strips, guys, okay? So we know I want to use 10%, so I'm, I'm going to start doing uh, kind of making sheet. And I'm going to be using Sobris wax because this is the wax that I love. And I want these people to be blown away, okay? So for this, uh, for the measurement, for the diameter, I'm going to be using a single CDN number four, okay? I used this before on this, on this size of a uh, vessel, and this works like a charm. So guys, and, and I have a new setup. I have the lights all around me here. I, this is very tight space where I am right now. Uh, I have in here my scent strips in here. Let me just put this away. Okay, so before we do anything, guys, I wanna prep the vessels just to get it out of the way. Out of the way, you know? Uh, for that, you know, I use alcohol. And paper towels. I'm gonna show you the whole step, guys, in case some of you have not watched any of my videos from the past, which I doubt it, but I just wanna, I just want to uh, repeat the steps with you. So this is the way I make candles, yes! So guys, the, the weather in Portland is like kind of, it's kind of weird, because Portland is weird, you know? Okay, let me just put some alcohol in all of them. So it's like 76 degrees, it's very cloudy, it feels very cold, you know? And it feels like it's gonna rain any minute, you know, that like you feel the rain in the air, even though it's not supposed to rain. So what we did today, guys, is I made, I told my husband, you know, let's, even though it's gonna be like this, let me just do some barbecuing. So we did, uh, we fired up the grill and made some delicious Greek style burgers, you know, and made some uh, coleslaw using yogurt dressing. It's very simple. And also I did some uh, grilled vegetables we did some uh, red and yellow peppers. I did some uh, the small potatoes. And what else? Uh, red onions and lots of mushrooms. And uh, so I grilled them at 425. I didn't I didn't use the grill for that. I just put them in the oven because I think in the oven you have more control. And so you roast them at 425. You put olive oil, salt and pepper, oregano, all that stuff. I just let it go for 15 minutes. They, they, go, they go very fast. You have to wash them, okay? And then you, t you keep turning them until you know that they're tender. And then at the end, the secret is to blast the broiler, guys. And you leave them there for five minutes and everything gets nice and crunchy, you know, with the dark spots. And yeah, and then you turn it off and then you take them out. I put them on a bowl and then the secret to my delicious the vegetables is you put balsamic vinegar and then you let them rest with the vinegar in there guys those potatoes they absorb all the all the goodness you know 
and, and the roasted peppers are delicious. And uh, you know, you can roast any vegetables you want. So, and then the burgers, I use the um, nor, it's so good. I don't add any eggs, I don't add any, any seasoning. This is plenty. And the secret is one pound of ground beef and one pound of sausage meat. Ground sausage meat, guys, it's delicious. Delicious. Okay, so let me just to my vessel and to make sure for safety because the wigs come in a bag and you know the the wigs themselves have a little bit of wax all around them. So it's a good idea to clean the bottom of the of the wig in here to make sure that it's, if, if there's any wax residue that you take it away, okay? That that way you make sure that everything gets sticks really well. To the bottom of the vessel because we don't want any wigs dancing in the wax and causing a fire because that's a lawsuit okay safety number one guys remember okay so let me show you the first fragrance i have is citron and mandarin put it to the side nordic night so I'm looking forward for that persimmon citron okay red Red berry balsam. I like to let them dry a little bit, guys. The next one is campfire marshmallow. This one, guys, I feel pretty good about this one. And I'm not about, I'm not a, uh, I'm not a fan of fireside uh, or fire uh, or uh, fragrance oils, but this one is really like special. I can smell it from here. It's, it's lovely. It doesn't smell. Smoky, like as strong like the other ones, you know. This one is called White Eucalyptus. Do I have enough? Or oh, yeah, I really like this one. Okay, this one is Cypress and Bayberry. This one is so good, guys. Neroli and White Jasmine. Oh my god, I love Neroli. Beautiful. Oh my god, it's so sexy. So. Uh, Italian, Italiano, you know, uh, so, uh, I don't know, it's, it's full of energy, I love it, Neroli. This one is very dark, very yellow, so be aware of that, uh, the wax is going to turn. This one is Santal and Coconut. Guys, a lot of people have told me about Santal, you know, and I read so much about Santal, told me about Santal, you know, and this is a, a scent that a lot of people use on very expensive hotels, you know, so you need to get like, feel like very bougie, stuff like that. I'm not a big fan of it, but I'm gonna give this one a chance, okay? Rosemary Sage, we all love Rosemary and Sage from Candle Science, yeah, they make the best Rosemary Sage. Boy, 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 boy. Yes. Okay, let's the fun begin. First one, citron and mandarin. Uh, it feels like I'm drinking a mimosa. You know, mimosa, the champagne and orange juice. It gives me that freshness inside. The top note of the citrus is really like potent, but it's really invigorating. I love it. Okay, so let me try to mix this with the other citron, which is persimmon and citron, and let's see what I get. Okay. Some people use coffee beans. I like to use the back of my hand to clean my nose. Okay. Citron and mandarin, persimmon and citron. Love them both. Together. They don't work together, not at all. Uh, they are like fighting each other, you know, for for the top place. The citron is now is way too overpowering, you know. Let me see if I put this uh, citron and mandarin. I'm gonna push it backwards, and I'm gonna put the other one, pressing one citron forward more. This is a trick that I learned, that so it's not as potent. So. You see? Now this is working better. This is wrong, it's very overpowering still. But with this, by put it, pushing it backward, they can, it could be a possibility 
but not for these candles, okay? So I'm gonna pass on these two. Okay. Nordic Night. This beautiful winter scent. It's like a, you're sitting on a Christmas uh, environment, you know, on a Christmas, uh, like you're invited, like, like very Christmassy, you know. The pine, piney, uh, you know, and, and let me see how this goes with the red berry balsam. Also kind of Christmassy. Put them together. Wow. This smells really nice. It smells like Santa Claus is about to, Santa Claus is about to come. Full of presents, full of joy and happiness to everyone. Okay, I'm gonna leave these two together on the side because this smells epic, okay? These two together, guys, pure Christmas. If you want a holiday candle, this is it. Equal parts, red berry balsam and Nordic night. Wow. Excellent. Okay, I'm gonna leave it together like this. Okay. Next. Strip is Campfire Marshmallow. By itself, it's by itself, wow. You don't need anything else. This is absolutely beautiful, guys. Uh, again, it's another winter scent for me. Cool night sitting in front of a fire, roasting marshmallows with a loved one. It's very, it's very smooth, it's not strong. You know when you, Smell, smell, uh, smell first. Uh, look, the fireside um, of the of the of the other fire, uh, the smoky uh, fragrance oils. This one is very. It works into you. You know, it's it's like it, it mellows down. The marshmallow mellows down the 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 campfire aspect. You know, it really works really nice. Okay, and this is gonna be candle number one. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I don't wanna mix it with anything else because I think this works. Beautiful, but I just something came to my mind. I just saw Santal and coconut. Let me try Santal and coconut with this. Let's see what I get. Because you know what, guys, you have to try everything once. Okay, the coconut background with the marshmallow background. <sighs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I got a winner. I don't know what it is. It's in top and the campfire together, guys. And the coconut. And it's, it's like everything dancing together, you know, really well. They're embracing each other. The energy blends so well. And the sweetness of the coconut and the marshmallow is not too overpowering. But it's there. It's like uh, very welcoming. Oh, my God, guys. This is going to be kind of number one for sure. Yes. Let me just make a note. Equal parts. Okay. Why eucalyptus? White eucalyptus, very aromatherapy like, perfect. I think this will go great with um, rosemary sage. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful. You feel like you are in a spa about to receive the most magical massage you've ever gotten. My God, you close your eyes and you feel like magic. Wow. Candle number two. So we have Cypress and Bayberry. This by itself is amazing. But you know what, guys? I'm gonna mix it with some with a Citron Mandarin. Let's see how I get, what I get. Citron mandarin and cypress and bayberry. Wow, this really works really well, guys. Really well. But let me try the other citron. Persimmon and citron. It 
There's nothing that's not going. Okay, there's something on the Cypress top note that is not agreeing with the uh, Persimmon. So I'm gonna put Persimmon back down. Uh, there's something in this that I'm not really, now I'm not liking, I don't know what it is. I need to go to the website and check. Okay, I'm gonna put this to the side. Okay, the next one is Neroli and Jasmine. Okay, I'm gonna use this one by itself because it's it will be a crime. It will be a crime to mix it with something else. It's too beautiful. So card number three is gonna be Neroli and Jasmine. You see guys, because I have so much experience with this now, I know when a scent is good to be blended with something else and when it's not. And when you find something that is beautiful, that is giving you the right energy, the right points that you need, the right uh when it's giving you the right story that you want to tell, story of love, uh, you don't want to mess it up. You just want to keep it, okay? Okay, the next one. So I'm not, I need three more candles, guys. Okay, guys, we're back. So I found three more oils. And these three are going to give me life. Okay, so let me just put this to the side. These are the candles that I'm already decided to do. Okay, so now I'm going to try. Let me just... I'm gonna put, I'm gonna get rid of the persimmon citron. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of all, all this. And I'm gonna leave out Nordic Night. That's the one that is talking to me. Okay, so let me take three more program strips. No, but guys, uh, during the winter, I like to feel re-energized, you know? Uh, when you do like aromatherapy light candles, you know, that you, that you um, sit in a room, you meditate, and you listen to uh, a nice music, you know, or you're reading a nice book, you know, and you just wanna have something in the background, something that gives you the vibe, you know, and these are perfect for that. Amber Noir, Amber Noir is, guys, one of the biggest successes that I've found on my candles. People love it when I mix it with, uh, especially with, uh, Mediterranean fig, oof! People love that combination because it's deep, it's mysterious, it's, it's sexy. Mediterranean fig. Okay, so I'm gonna be making magic with all these fragrance strips. Okay, let's start. Let's get white sage and lavender. I feel relaxed already. I feel relaxed. <sighs> okay. Let me see how, how this does if I mix it with our Nordic night. So it's gonna give you a nice relaxed night. Holiday night, but at the same time very relaxing. So let's see how this goes together. It goes beautiful. It goes really nice. It complements uh, the Nordic night so well. Uh, it complements the uh, the pine, the whatever uh, whatever evergreen is in on on Nordic night. I don't know if it's pine. I don't know because I haven't read the notes, but it's giving me a. Uh, it feels very relaxing. Okay, but I like it, but not to jump on it right now. Let me try white sage and lavender. You know what? Let me try it with. Why eucalyptus? Because why not? So I have rosemary sage and white eucalyptus that I'm making into a candle, okay? Uh, should I make another candle? You know what? Let me just try it with it. Just for the hell of it. Let me just try it with Neroli and Jasmine. Because it's the only single one, single candle that I have. With no mix components. It's so good. I don't want to mix it, but let's see. Let's see. No. No, 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 no. Neroli and Jasmine have to be by itself. It just slapped me on the face. Don't do that, Michael. Don't do that. Okay. Uh, I'm going to leave the white sage and lavender on the side. 
Uh, let me say Mediterranean fig. This has to go with Amber Noir for sure. Candle number four. It's very deep, very, uh, it feels like they're hugging me very strong, not very strongly. It's like very comforting, very welcoming, very uh, relaxing. This is great for, uh, let's say, for a living room or or even for a bedroom right now, you know, to feel relaxed and just feel feel love, you know, and this, this is it. Okay, so number four is going to be Amber Noir plus Mediterranean Fig. You know, guys, and I'm not into uh, food candles, but there's something about the fig, there's something on the fig that makes me, like, musky. It's, like, uh, earthy, a little bit earthy, you know. It's, like, more very deeper than that. It's And the, and the Amber Noir, of course, it makes it even deeper, so... Nordic Nights. Should we make that into a candle? No. Okay, this white sage and lavender. I think I'm gonna do this by itself. You know, sometimes when you do aromatherapy candles, guys, uh, the more the more you mix, the more complex they get, and you just, sometimes you your body rejects that. You know, you just want something calming, something soothing. Okay, and the last one. Okay, Nordic Night. I don't know what to do, guys. Let me go back and find something else because this is not really giving me the love that I'm looking for. Let me see in here. I have some more in here. They have something that's called Woodline Snow. Woodline Snow. Let me try this one. This is one of the new ones. It will give me a big surprise. Okay, Nordic Night. Which is good, but I need, it needs something else, something to complement it even more. Oh my God, Woodland, this is Woodland Snow. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking with gas. Okay, this is pure winter. This is beautiful. So in no, in no order, I have Santal and Coconut. I have Rosemary Sage and White Eucalyptus. I have Neroli and Jasmine. I have Amber Noir, Mediterranean Fig, I have White Sage and Lavender, and I have Nordic Night and Woodland Snow. Okay, these are my six candles, guys. Put my test in. Now I'm going to go and figure out the numbers of how much wax I need and how much fragrance oil we need. Okay, guys, so I'll be right back. Yes! Hi, guys, welcome back. So I just finished making the numbers for this, okay? So this is going to be the, um, the amount of wax that I'm going to need for every candle, guys. So the wax fill for this every single um, candle is going to be 3.4 ounces, okay? So if I want to do a 10% fragrance load, that's going to mean that I'm going to need 0 0.34 ounces of uh, fragrance oil, okay? So that leaves me with the amount of 3.06 ounces of wax, okay? So when you add that together, when you add 0 uh, 3.06 plus... 0.34, that gives you 3.4, okay? So that's what we need, okay? Perfect. Again, we need 3.06 uh, ounces of wax and 0 0.34 fragrance oil for 10%. And if we need to use, we are combining two oils, which we are in the majority of them, for each one of them, it's gonna be 0 0.17, okay? 0 0.17 ounces when we are combining two fragrances of oil. So each one is gonna be 0 0.17 ounces, so when you combine it by the two of them, it, that's going to give you 0 0.34, okay? I hope that uh, makes sense, okay? So let's, let's start doing this. So I I just took um, the time to label each and every one of them, guys, so I don't get confused. And also I took um, six shot glasses and I put the, the number in them. Okay, so I'm going to take my trusty scale and I'm going to start pouring the oils, okay? Okay, guys, so we're back. Ta -ta. Let me see. I think I have too much. As long as you clean this really well, some people use Windex. I'm going to try using Windex next, you know. I think Windex works better for other people. I saw Miguel from 1617.com doing a, a class on blending oils. I'm going to link it below, guys. The video is very instructional. Go check it out. 
Okay? So, okay. So, and we're going to need 3.06 ounces of wax. Okay? The wax is melting, guys. Again, I have soy bliss wax in here. It's not soy bliss. It's called uh, number seven right now. Okay? From 1617.com. Uh, okay, guys. So, in here, I have my tins. I have this. I have secured the, the wicks with this. Um, they use it for to close back, you know, potato chips bag, whatever bag they have. You can find this on Amazon, you know, these are very uh, inexpensive. You can also find them at Ikea. I have one spatula in here. I have my thermometer. You know, uh, paper towels, always out. Just in case you need, like, in case the wax is spilling there. For example, right here on the scale, I'm gonna put a piece of paper towel around the outside. So guys, soy bliss wax to me is the best wax ever. I mean, number seven. Uh, it has a combination of uh, soy wax and a tiny bit of uh, food grade paraffin on it, mixed together, guys. But it, you always get, I always get the strongest HT that ever gotten from any wax. I always get it. And it only takes two days to cure. For me, they recommend two weeks, but for me, I have always find that every single candle that I work with, um, after two days, they give me beautiful... CT and beautiful HT. Big amount of, of these uh, candles. I wanna bring out to the public the best I can bring. So I offer them the best. So as you can see guys, I have a, a bigger melter in here. This one is from West, Can uh, West Town Candle Supply. And I have a lot of wax in there, look. It's filled up to the top. But since I'm I'm okay with my inventory right now. I don't need to make any extra candles. I'm not gonna be making more because I don't have any room to put to put them. Okay, it's two or seven. I'm not gonna I'm gonna wait until it goes to two twenty because by the time I transfer this to this, it's gonna go way down. Okay, I'm gonna leave it the way it is. Okay, so I'm gonna measure oil number one and I'm gonna put it in here. This is gonna be the mixing bowl, guys. And I'm gonna pour the wax in there. And mix it in here and then pour it okay this is kind of number one Santa coconut campfire marshmallow oh my god guys it's giving me it's amazing and with uh, wax number seven for we know as soy bliss wax you only need to mix for 20 seconds that's good enough Then pour. This technique really works really well. Every single time. Perfection. But when, if you are in doubt, do it again. This is perfect. Okay, the next one. Hair. 3.06. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like that. Okay, candle number two. So I'm gonna pour the oil and the wax together. On the mixing bowl. Let me just clean up and I'll be right back, okay? Yes! Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so let's do a recap of what we accomplished today on this video, guys. So the goal today was to uh, make test candles, six of them, using the mini infinity tins from Candle Science, okay? These hold 3.4 ounces of wax. They're beautiful. They come with a, with a lid. I'll show you at the beginning of the video. So these are my beautiful candles. Candle number one, it has a combination of Santa and coconut and campfire marshmallow. Candle number two has a combination of rosemary sage and white eucalyptus, perfect aromatherapy candle. Candle number three, Neroli and Jasmine, very romantic, you feel like you are like in a garden of love. Candle number four is Amber Noir and Mediterranean Free. Candle number five is white sage and lavender, another one, another aromatherapy, guys. No, and candle number six, Nordic Night and Woodland Snow for those perfect wintry nights that you wanna be with a loved one. Yes, okay, guys. So I'm gonna take pictures one day solidify, guys. You have to make sure, guys, when you make your candles, make sure that you check the wick placement. These are perfect, guys. Hi, guys, welcome back. So guys, so I waited two days because I wanted to continue this video. I just wanna give you uh, the whole experience, you know? So these are my six candles that I made uh, a couple of days ago. These are gonna be for 
someone that's testing candles for your company and they asked me to do a few samples. So I'm, I'm using the mini Infinity Tint from Candle Science. It's a beautiful, uh, I'm gonna uh, show them the different colors that it comes with, you know, uh, but so far, because I got uh, bronze, which I think is beautiful color, it's my favorite, And but I just wanna show them the different options in scent, okay? So what I did, guys, is I did, I took my, uh, I took some of the my favorite scents from Candle Science, you know, and I mixed them all, you know, and just to make something complex, something mysterious, something new, you know. So uh, in candle number one, I have a combination of santal and coconut and campfire and, marsh uh, and marshmallow. On candle number two, I have a combination of rosemary sage and white eucalyptus. Candle number three, I have neroli and jasmine. It's blown. It's it's, it's blown my mind. It's, out of this world. Candle number four is Amber Noir and Mediterranean Fig. Beautiful, very sophisticated. Candle number five is uh, White Sage and Lavender. Very aromatherapy. And the last but not least, a uh, candle number six is Nordic Night and Woodland Snow. Pure winter. <sighs> Beautiful for nighttime, you know. And okay, guys, so let's do an HD test, okay? So I have to say, first let me just test the, uh, the CT. Candle number one. There, guys, it's very nice, beautiful Santal. It's what they use on very expensive, uh, on very uh, expensive hotels, you know, to burn on the on the lobbies, you know, on the on, on the different uh, rooms, uh, because it's a very sophisticated smell, guys. And this on the coconut in the background gives it just like a very comforting note. It's not sweet. It's very uh, it's very inviting, you know. It's very welcoming. That's why it's on on these uh, hotel uh, lobbies. Okay, and let me see, can I smell the campfire? You know, the campfire marshmallow, it's one of the newer scents from uh, from Candle Science. I mean, you smell it by itself. It's just, by itself, it's divine. It's, it's so, uh, it's so different, it's so new. Usually when you have those kind of, uh, like, fireside uh, kind of uh, scents, you know, they're too much for me. I think the marshmallow, the sweetness, and the, uh, the combination of the two scents really like balance each, each other and I think it's a great combination, okay? So, okay, so I'm gonna burn this one first. And I'm using, the wax that I'm using is number seven, formerly known as Soy Breeze Wax. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna, after I burn this, I'm, after I burn this, I'm gonna put them in separate small rooms uh, because we have to remember these are very small uh, vessels the uh, diameter is two and a quarter inches. So this is not gonna give you an HD, like it's gonna fill up a whole, a whole room because we have to you know, be realistic, okay? Can number two, white, white uh, rosemary sage and white eucalyptus. The CT is beautiful, it's stronger than the first one, but it's aromatherapy kind of, uh, of a, like a candle. Very soothing, very relaxing, okay? Let's burn this one also. Hopefully it will work. Candle number three, this is my favorite of all them all, guys, because uh, I love Neroli. Neroli to me is uh, a note, uh, a flower that is, is, is equal to romance. Beautiful, okay? And you have to remember this kind of, uh, this kind of wax, uh, the oil is very thick and yellow, so it's gonna turn the wax a, a yellow color, which I don't mind, you know? All these waxes that have uh, all these scents that have their own personality, so they don't have. They aren't going to be all equal in viscosity, in color. That's why you have to do a wig test, you know, to find out whether or not you can use uh, the wig uh, with that that given uh, wax and a given vessel. Okay, this one is Amber Noir and Mediterranean Fig. <sighs> very sophisticated, very European. You know, it's like fig. We have two trees, two fig trees in here, and we love them. It's very deep, intense smell. Uh, the Amber Noir, I love Amber Noir. Uh, it's a mysterious night, you know? It's very seductive. The next one, it's White Sage and Lavender. It's not intense, it's, it's very relaxing. Again, this is another aromatherapy candle. It's very soothing, you know, this you can put this at night in a room, to go to sleep or to go relax, you know, when you read a book, listen to nice music. Perfect candle for that. Beautiful. And candle number six 
is Nordic Night and Woodlands uh, Woodland Snow. <sighs> this is gonna be, they're gonna love this one, guys. This is like pure, pure uh, Christmas, pure holiday, uh, holiday time, you know, and it's, it feels like you, when you close your eyes and you, and, you smell, and you smell this, guys, it gives you an illusion that you are like a, on a forest, on a winter forest, and, and you have a lot of different pine trees, you know, a lot of these evergreens. And it has some kind also, I think it has a little bit of eucalyptus that I smell in the background. I'm not sure, you know, you have to go onto the website and check out the notes, which I haven't. I just want to give you my impression of it without uh, reading any kind of information, okay? Beautiful. And I'm going to post all these different combinations down on the description box. So if you have a question, you can refer to that. And if you want to know the notes, go to candlescience.com and read about all, all these beautiful scents, okay? Okay, guys, so uh, let me go and just place them on different rooms. And I'm going to wait an hour and I'll be right back, okay? Yes! Hi, guys, welcome back. So I have the final result of the HD test that I just performed, okay? On these beautiful testers using Candle Sciences fragrance oils and under Infinity Teens, okay? So candle number one is a combination of Santa, Coconut, and Campfire Marshmallow. Okay, uh, the HD on that, uh, it was a uh, four stars and it was good. Uh, it was not my favorite. Why? Because to me it was too sweet. You know, the combination of um, the coconut milk and the marshmallow on the, the two different uh, fragrance oils, uh, it made it too sweet for me, you know. Uh, but I had my husband smell it and he loved it. So that's for you to know, you know, like even if I don't like a combination, a lot of people out there may love it, you know, so I just give you my personal opinion, you know. I think by themselves, they will be great for me using them as separate uh, candles, okay? Candle number two is Rosemary Sage and White Eucalyptus, okay? This one, excellent HD, five stars. Beautiful, okay. It's non-medicinal uh, smell. I was afraid that it was going to smell like kind of medicine, but it's not. It's very fresh, you know. And the reason why is because I read the notes and it says it has a top note of lemon, spearmint, marine. The mid note is eucalyptus. The base note is juniper, powder, and sea salt. So it gives it like that refreshing feeling, you know. And people are going to love uh, this combination of, uh, of oil, okay? Now, the next is Neroli Jasmine. That's number three. And I have to say, uh, I'm going to give this five stars. It gave me very strong HD. I love the Neroli. I like the Jasmine. The top note on this fragrance is uh, citrus, petit grain, and green leaves. And the mid note is orange blossoms, Jasmine, and Neroli. And the base note is patchouli and powder. Okay? I think it gives it like very comfortable. Um, the base note is very comforting, you know? And the, just the citrus opening, it just what makes it like very energetic and very fresh. Okay, the next candle uh, that one is number four is amber noir okay i gave it again five stars red hd and mediterranean fig okay the top note on amber noir is citrus plum mid note jasmine amber the bottom note is benzoin amaris and dark moss okay very earthy very like <sighs> a little bit musky you know very romantic for me very intense okay five stars okay on candle number five that one is White sage and lavender, okay? And this one I'm gonna give you four stars. Uh, it's not a strong scent. Uh, it's very comforting, very relaxing, you know? And that's aromatherapy kind of candles, you know? So it's not meant to be strong. So it's, I liked it a lot, but it's, I just wanna let you know that it's not uh, by itself. It's very just relaxing. So it's perfect for that person that just wants to relax and not have something overpowering uh, on the room. Four stars, great as she. Okay, the last one, guys, this one is amazing. I gave it five stars, and it's my favorite from all of them, even my favorite above the Neroli. Why? It gives me so much energy, pure winter. It has, it, it has a lot of, uh, let me read the notes, okay? The Nordic Night, lavender, top notes, lavender, eucalyptus, that's great opening. Mid notes, bayberry, cypress, and pine. Base note, oak moss, peppercorn, cedar, rosemary, okay, very a lot of wood, uh, all these woodsy based uh, notes. It's very comforting and it's also like re refreshing, guys. At lavender and eucalyptus are very arom uh, aromatherapy also. And it's it's great, you know, and the woodlands now, 
The dub now is camphor. Ozone means the camphor is going to open up your nostrils and it doesn't smell medicinal at all. It smells very like, ah, I'm alive on a winter night. Okay, well, that's not the top note is camphor. Ozone means mid note sage, cypress, peppermint, eucalyptus. It has such a great combination, very complex, and that's gonna make you think, oh my god, what is what is this? What is this? And it feels so, it feels so great, so comforting. The base note, juniper, spice, incense, patchouli, and cedar. That's what makes it such amazing scent the base notes of the incense and the patchouli and the spice it really that makes it all come together really well so they all sing it together beautifully okay okay guys so that's my assessment for all these six samples i think the person uh, is gonna love them all you know again everybody's different you may, uh, someone may like this one someone may not like that one you know that's why i'm giving them option uh, to see which one they prefer okay Okay guys, so I wanted to bring you the whole experience on this video. I know it's gonna be a long one, but you know what? I, I just, I wanna try to do this from now on, you know, and I, I don't wanna keep you hanging about the results of a candle. I wanna give you the, the full package of my videos from now on. Okay guys, so uh, I'm gonna remind you that I'm gonna be going on my live stream on next uh, Sunday, July 10th at 12 noon Pacific Standard time. Okay guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and also share the content with all your friends and family. Plus, please, go and check out my store on Shopify. Candle Romance, Candle Shop. Okay guys, it's open for business. Go check it out and support me. Okay guys, so thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Take care, bye. Yes!